Once the test flight's done and the airplane comes into the shop, we're getting ready to drop the cowl. Before I do anything with the cowl, I'm looking at a gap between the root fairing and the cowling. There's a fairing that goes along the stabilizer root, and, and there's a small gap between this fairing and the lower cowling. I want these gaps to be a, pretty much similar from left to right. If the, if, the, if the gap isn't even, I'll show you in a little bit how to even that up during the annual inspection. But that's the first thing you look at before the cowling comes off. Then once the cowling is ready to come, top comes off like always, access plate comes out, unhook the induction hose, cow flaps, all that kind of stuff. I'll get a hoist, lift the engine up. I want that nose strut fully extended to give enough room to drop that cowling down further. That's especially important with a three blade prop because getting it by the two lower blades require you to really get the cowling down there. So lift the engine up, get max extension on the strut, and then we'll start dropping that bottom cowl. Now the bottom cowl has had a modification we've done over the years. The early cowls, there's a, there's a fairing that goes around the nose strut as it comes out of the bottom cowl, and that fairing is kind of tight. And in the past, we just left that. It makes it getting the cowling off a little more difficult because you can't work it around very much. Then what we ended up doing is we ended up taking that fairing, drilling out the rivets, and putting in screws with riv nuts so we can now remove that, that fairing opens up the gap in the lower cowling and it makes the lower cowl much, much easier to get off. So and if you haven't done that, the earlier airplanes all are all that way. If you haven't done that, I'd, I'd recommend doing that in the future. Then the cowling comes off, comes out like always, and we're ready to look at the engine and the canard.